Word from the Lord. Again, we come to you and we just want to share some thoughts with, with you tonight. Every time that, that we speak of God's Word, it's always a great enlightenment. And sometimes I, I, I want to just take on part of uh, the Sunday sermon because I think it's a very good sermon. I want to talk about uh, uh, forgive and live free, living free. Forgiveness is one of those kinds of things that, that we have to and we must do in order to be free. If one can't forgive, they really can't be free. So many times we, we, we have a little something against someone and we, we keep holding it and we carry it on. We still function, but we're not living free. It, it's, it's like I, I saw a friend the other day and they were, they were actually uh, uh, walking the dog along the street and they, they had this, a little, little, little rope on them, a little leash on the dog. And the dog was running around. And it seemed like that he was free, but he actually wasn't free. And sometimes that's what not forgiveness really is. It seems like we are free because we go along with our daily duties, but actually we're not free. We still have something there that's holding us back. I, I want to talk uh, uh, from the subject, because I know this is a familiar text out of uh, Matthew chapter 18. You know, this, this wicked servant. And about verse number 32 to 35. It says, Then his Lord, after they had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant. He's, he's a wicked servant. And, and the problem is, the reason he's a wicked servant is because he doesn't have a real forgiveness in his heart. If he could only forgive, then he would not be a wicked servant. And the story goes, allow me to paraphrase, but he would not forgive his servant because his servant owed him. Now, first of all, the servant uh, actually uh, had a person that was above him. And he went to that person and said, Master, forgive me. Master, don't charge me. I know I owe you. And I know I owe you a lot. But I, I, I beg you, I beg you. And the master said, okay, I'll tell you what, I, I, I'm going to let you go. But as soon as he left, he went to his servant and then he began to choke him. He began to get real rattled with him, cast him into prison. Uh, the problem is that, that when you can't forgive, there's always a problem. Now, there are three things I want you to remember about this servant. Uh, there, there's something interesting about the servant. What's interesting about this servant? He's just like some of us a lot of times. Number one, uh, Remember where you come from. Remember where you come from. So many times, it's easier to forgive if you can only remember where you come from. See, we haven't been angels all of our life, you know. Uh, we haven't been, quote, good all of our life. Uh, Y'all want me to preach to you for a few minutes? And let's just be real about it. All have sinned, Romans 3.23. All have done something. So remember where you come from. If the servant could have remembered, hey, just a while ago, you were begging your master, hey, forgive me, let me go. Pardon me. Set this from me. Now you're doing it to your servant. Now, you, if he had remembered where he come from, he would have never placed that on his own servant. So, number one, if you're going to forgive to live free, you got to remember where you come from. Number two, and I, and I like number two. Now, come with me here. Yeah. Remember not to punish the person for the wrong. Sometimes when, you, when we get something, and sometimes when we you know, have something on a person, some folk like that. And they carry it. They put it in their pockets. They hold it. You know, because I'm going to use this uh, when I need it. I'm keeping it back to one time when they do something, I've got something. You know, we go on this if, you know, if they do this or if they do that. So we hold this little thing and we use it to punish them. So every time something comes up, what do you say? You know, you remember when you did this? You remember when you keep going back? It's like bearing the hatchet. But you leave the handle out. So every time it's convenient for you, you go grab it and you beat the person up. You can't use that to keep beating the person up. Because if you want to be free, you got to remember, you must remember that you can't use it as a tool to beat or punish the other person. The last one I also like. Remember this one. Remember 
You won't get by by holding the wrong. You won't get by by holding the wrong. And we like to hold wrong. We we'll hold a little something in our heart. And that's why we're never free. That's why we, we, we can't live a free life because we still have this little something in our heart. And a lot of people will tell you. You know what they'll tell you? You know, we're okay, but I still remember this. We're okay, but I still remember that. And we got to get to a point in life, especially as a Christian, if you want to be free, to that little spot or that little thing that you're covering, that little thing that you're holding, you got to let it go. You're not going to get by with it because you're holding it in your heart and you can never be free. How can I be happy? How can I be happy? I've learned how to forgive and then I can live free. I'm okay now. You know, I say that because I'm a pastor. But there was a time, you know, if you did a little something, yeah, I would have it on my heart. I'd keep it on my mind. But I'm going to tell you like it is. It wasn't until I was able to let it go, to put it out of the way, that I was able to live a free life and free in Jesus. And if you do that, I guarantee you, you will receive your blessing. Y'all be blessed.